First tonight, an emergency meeting today sends the Blackfeet Reservation into a 14 day mandatory shutdown. That shutdown will begin this Sunday at midnight. They decided to wait until Sunday to give everyone on the reservation a chance to get supplies. The shutdown was based upon the recommendation by tribal public health officials, noting that for every two tests, one is positive. According to tribal officials, there are 83 active cases and a few hundred people already on quarantine. Law enforcement will be out in full force to cite and find individuals not complying with this shutdown. New information tonight in the COVID-19 situation at the Lewis and Clark County Detention Center. County authorities confirmed their first COVID-19 case inside the detention center. Sheriff Leo Dutton says a county detention officer tested positive Tuesday after reporting symptoms. Since then, all detention center staff and a majority of inmates have been tested. On Wednesday, results showed one inmate had tested positive. Dutton says they have placed everyone in that inmate's pod on quarantine for the next 14 days. And if you recall, we got an update from Sheriff Slaughter on the Cascade County Detention Center this week as well. They are reporting 68 active, active cases. 41 of those positive cases are in the county jail. 27 positives are in the state prison side. Health officials in Roosevelt County are busy dealing with an onslaught of new COVID-19 cases. A post to Facebook earlier today confirmed 43 more cases overnight in the county. In all, there are 171 active cases compared to 67 last week. Officials said they're looking into a number of factors that could be behind the increased numbers. MTN News first reported on COVID-19 in Roosevelt County earlier this month after Wolf Point schools closed for cleaning following a positive student case. Recently, both Malta and Fairfield Public Schools canceled games scheduled at Wolf Point after consulting with health officials. Roosevelt County is now the fourth highest in the state for cases behind Yellowstone, Flathead and Cascade counties. For the third time in less than a week, Montana is reporting a daily record for positive COVID-19 cases. Today's report from the governor's coronavirus task force shows 333 positive cases. It breaks the single day record of 293 set last Friday. To date, Montana has seen almost 11,500 cases with more than 2,500 active. 165 people have died, nearly 8,800 have recovered, and 128 are currently hospitalized. One of the ways we're tracking the increases in cases is through the overall positivity rate in COVID-19 tests. This is a percentage of positive cases in each new batch of tests, and the percentage of positive results has been rising from about 2.5% on August 1st to almost 3.5% today. According to the John Hopkins Schools of Public Health, the percentage of positive cases is important because it can indicate how widespread the virus is in an area and whether levels of testing are keeping up with the spread of the disease.